thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Dale. This channel is Flippin' Fiasco, and I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. Today's video is a little different than my typical videos. I am obviously in the car on my way to pick up some winnings from an estate auction, and I'm going to blame my good friend Kat, the nurse flipper, for this. She introduced me to a new online auction site that I was not previously familiar with. And I took a chance and just put in low bids on several items and to my surprise won them. <laughs> so I got a whole bunch of stuff. I'll put up on the screen everything that I got and what my total was. The thing that I'm most concerned about is that I picked up two Queen Anne style chairs armchairs for a dollar a piece and I drive this Prius <laughs> now initially I was going to go to Home Depot and rent a truck to go pick these things up but that was kind of gonna be a headache I didn't really want to deal with it if I didn't need to so I did take measurements and I have an armchair at home that's a little smaller which I kind of like used as my test to see and I think that these chairs are gonna fit. So I'm gonna let you watch me struggle and try to get the chairs and the rest of my winnings into my Prius. I will note that it's Prius V, I think, which is a little bit bigger than your standard Prius, but still not meant for um, hauling big items. So fingers crossed. Okay, I'm here. Let's see how it goes. You know, it's because the front's coming, well... It's like, because it's curved, yep. so like just that tiny bit yep. right here. Game of inches. Yeah. And you can't make that any lower, you can't make this any higher. Right. How far are you going? I wonder if it'll go in from the side. No, it actually it's going to be smaller, I think, because your your seat doesn't fold down as far. Right. Okay. You know, it fit in if it goes through this hole here. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm like. I measured and it was so Yeah. Okay, let's try this. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go to this. Let's see what happens. Look at that. Aha! The only problem is I have two of them. Um, I thought that once I got it in, I might be able to turn it. Okay, let's see. Well, I'll tell you what. And, oops, <laughs> looking at measurements, it looked like it would work. Yeah, but is, is your door going to close Let's over there? Let's see. Okay, and this one closes. Okay. Now, the next one's going to be a lot trickier. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, 
see. Unless, hey, if you want to put your seats front. Oh, yeah. Because all you need is an inch. Right. <laughs> you might have to be settling close to the steering wheel on that's the way That's okay. Home. I can handle that. I think that's going to get it. I think so, too. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Teamwork makes the dream work. I better believe it. <laughs> Where there's a wheel, there's a wheel. We did it. <laughs> I can't believe it fit. But I have to show you, for everything I'm going to show you, here was my total. $22.42. Crazy. I mean, that's all in. Buyer's premium and everything. So, I have some things here on the floor <laughs> of my car. So, first we have this with a lid. Cute little jar from Kensington Gardens. So I'll throw up some comps after I look them up. I have no idea currently. There's this little picture. It's marked ECH on the bottom. So I don't know if that's just a hobbyist piece, perhaps. There are two of these lead crystals uh yeah there's the bottom so two of those they're very heavy and feel nice uh i think there's just a little bit of wax on this one so it actually was used okay then i have four of these anybody know what the heck they are <laughs> i have no idea we have a little uh, sand timer this glass jar with a lid um, it says golden harvest canister and I also have this basket with pirates like a 9 by 13 dish crystals rolling around I should probably be careful Right, I got this premium punning system with ball return. Um, it was purchased at Sports Authority. I don't see a price on there, um, but there is a barcode, so I should be able to scan that and give you a price. Look at all these ties. Look at this. This one still has the tag on it. So, I mean, I don't think there's any fantastic brands in here, but... I won't know until I look through them all. So I can't even, there's got to be at least 25 ties there. So I paid about four cents <laughs> per tie. I have this cute little change purse. Uh, I'm wondering if there's a brand. I don't see anything. This wallet with, I'm not seeing any brand there or there. But it feels nice. Um, look at this cute little basket. And it is Ivory Bone China Mikasa Bella Epoch B2005. And miscellaneous items. We have a cat's meow of the Baldwin, Baldwin Book Barn in Chester County from 1993. Uh, it has a little chip on it. Salt and pepper shakers. Uh, tiny little basket. This is like all chipped up, so I'll probably just put that right to Goodwill unless it actually happens to be something uh, I'm not familiar with. Very dusty and dirty. Um little beach chairs. <laughs> We've got a cute little elephant. Um, what's this? A magnet hand carved by L. Nichols. Hushfield, New Hampshire, 1976. Um, oh, here we go. That's what it is. 
a little cat or something. A little dish, which is marked France. You see that? Look, I don't know, something France. Then we've got this cute little pumpkin, which is powered. Oh, look, it actually works. Flashes all different colors. All right. I did not expect that to work. And this little vase, which is marked L. Gottinger and Company. Okay. And this fern pot, which does not have any markings on the bottom, but has that fern on both sides. And then, of course, the chairs, which are Thomasville. Crazy. All right, so these are about 26 ties that I'm just donating right to Goodwill because they were not in good quality or worth selling. But I have these ties that I'm going to list. Some are still brand new with tags. This one I almost tossed because of that pen stain, but it is Christian Dior. So I think it's worth an attempt to try to get that uh, pen stain out. Sorry for the abrupt end, but that is all I have for you today. Thanks for being here and I'll catch you next time.